Today I'm going to talk about some RE0 Watchdog timeout errors that I was seeing on FreeBSD with some Realtek adapters and how I was able to fix that. Just a reminder, you can find the original post on my blog, link in the description, along with any reference links and source code. So my PFSense firewall was receiving an RE0 Watchdog timeout error and I was able to fix it and my connection speeds. First, this is a fairly common issue and the linked post helped me a ton while fixing it. As you can see, the Zotac PFSense firewall that I built is running two Realtek adapters. Additionally, I would often come back to my office to see error messages like the following on my router's monitor. Other than the watchdog timeout issues I was seeing, the operating system would often drop and restart the link state and I wasn't sure what this was or what was causing it. And as you can see, there was an issue with my connections, especially when it came to uploads. These were actually failing a lot of the time, which was super annoying. First, I found a post on the NetGate forums about where I could download the updated Realtek drivers. Next, I unzipped the archive in my boot kernel directory. I also updated the permissions of the file so that the operating system would properly load the driver. Finally, I updated the bootloader.com file and set if reload to yes. With the driver installed, it was time to reboot my router. As you can see in one of my earlier posts, I was able to resolve this issue. First, I verified that the operating system was properly loading the kernel driver. As it was, I reran the speed test CLI application and got a much more reasonable upload and download speed of 376 megabits per second. Other than that, I was also no longer seeing the timeout issues, so I finally solved this problem. This actually wasn't an issue that I had noticed or even seen until I had upgraded my internet. That said, this will be something that you will need to do if you are running with speeds of over about 300 megabits per second. In the end, I'm glad that I fixed this, but I might have another router upgrade in the works soon, so stay tuned. And as always, don't forget to check out this suggested video up here, as well as clicking that subscribe button to help support and grow the channel.